Hi everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Now today is uh, going to be a little bit of a different video compared to normal, uh, but it's something which I've been wanting to make a video about for a fair few weeks now. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's hop into my car and uh, get on with the video. <laughs> Right, so yeah, um, if you follow me on both Snapchat and Instagram, you probably um, understand what this video is about, because I have kind of spoken about this on both of those. Um, but it's about possibly rebranding me, well not me, like my social media, mainly my Instagram. Now the reason for this is um, I'm finding Instagram a bit kind of almost boring um, purely because of the way that it's now working with the whole thing about oh, people um, aren't seeing the stuff that I post, uh, for example. And that is just a bit, for me, like demoralizing, demotivating uh, for someone who is just a car photographer who's posting stuff on there every day. I mean, I've posted way over 3,000 photos on there now. Um, and I basically want to change it up a bit. Uh, now the reason for that is because I think that my page, when well, when it first started back in 2013, um, it was kind of one of about 15 or 20 car pages out there that were posting high-res car photos. And so there was kind of almost not very much competition. Now I'm not saying this is kind of like a competition, this whole thing. I'm just saying that nowadays, Posting stuff online, saying if you're a spotter, if you're just a general car photographer, there is a hell of a lot of pages out there that are doing exactly what you're doing, and most of the time getting exactly the same shots, um, which obviously affects the way that people like it, because if they see, it's scrolling through the newsfeed, and they see a photo of a car, and then they scroll down a few more, and they see like pretty much exactly the same photo, um, they're obviously going to like the first one they see, and it's kind of like... It's just not very beneficial. So basically what I want to try and do is kind of be a little bit different, be a little bit more unique. Um, now that is going to be quite a challenge because obviously some of the people that follow me or most of the people that follow me from Instagram are people that are there for my car photos. Um, and that's what I've built the audience up. But I'm going to keep that aspect of things. I'm not stopping photography by any means. Um, because it's something which I'm incredibly passionate about, as you probably can tell. <laughs> but um, I just want to try and switch up a bit, um, include some more stuff um, about my YouTube, for example. Um, so kind of switching it up, saying, oh, today I'm filming this video, um, do you have any questions? Or oh, say if I'm doing a q and I'd ask for a Q&A questions in the comments, stuff like that, kind of being a bit more interactive, because I love interacting with people that leave comments on my posts, uh, or videos, or whatever. Because um, it's something which not a lot of people do, um, to be honest. Um, and I just think that if someone's going to bother to make a comment, being it, be it nice or not, <laughs> then I'm going to make the effort to reply to it. Um, I just think that's a, just a bit fair, to be honest. Um, and I kind of want to um, grow an audience from my YouTube onto my Instagram. So. Basically what I'm trying to say is I want to try and become more of a YouTuber than a photographer. I know that's a lot to take in, you probably think, whoa, well, that's a bit <laughs> crazy, but yeah. <laughs> but I feel, because to be honest, I feel more passionate at the moment with the way that Instagram is going. Um, I'm more passionate with posting videos, sharing videos online. Um, now before you guys comment, if you're commenting now, stop right there. It's not about the fact that YouTube earns you money. Um, because my channel right now is pretty small compared to a lot of people's out there. Um, meaning, to be honest with you, the most I get per month is about £15. Now that's nothing to boast about and no reason why I should completely stop doing Instagram because oh my god I'm earning so much money on YouTube, like 15 quid a month is. Um, so it's not about the money at all. Um, I just feel that with all the new equipment I'm getting and all that kind of stuff, I am feeling more motivated, um, more driven to do videos. Um, purely because there's not many p 
Oh my days, but okay. I've run, out, run into a cycling competition, which is not exactly very handy. I mean, they're taking up the whole road. To avoid this cycle race thing, I'm gonna hop down here, and then I can carry on. So yes, um, I'm basically feeling more driven to make videos. Um, now for those of you who follow both my Instagram and my YouTube, first of all, thank you very much, because um, support is, oh look, it's a Maserati. I never see any nice cars around my area. As soon as I hit record, bam. It's meant to be. <laughs> see? <laughs> but yeah, um, those of you who follow both my Instagram and my YouTube, firstly, thank you very much. Uh, the support is hugely appreciated. Um, and to be honest, I never thought that I'd be doing what I'm doing now for as long as I am and doing it to, to be honest, such a big audience via both Instagram and um, YouTube and Snapchat, to be honest. I post a lot on Snapchat. But yeah, I know it's going to be um, probably not very popular at first because, like I said earlier, the audience I've got on my Instagram is from posting car photos. And then if I go around and say, I'm going to post a photo of an A1 out of nowhere, people aren't really going to like it, obviously. <laughs> but um, I want to try and start it. I want to try and kind of appeal to more people. Um, because there's obviously a lot of uh, hype about all the stuff in London, all the stuff at events and whatnot. Oh my God, does this road get any dirtier? I've just cleaned my car. <laughs> oh, what? But yeah, um, I just feel that by doing what I'm choosing to do, um, kind of this whole rebrand thing, or going from a, a photographer to a YouTuber or a vlogger or whatever, I feel that in the long run, will benefit me more. Um, now I did say all of this on my on my Instagram post, uh, I'm pretty much just explaining it in a little bit more detail. Um, and, oh, hello, we've got some Sunday drivers, bear with me a second. Oh, I'm hoping you're catching my drift here. Um, but yeah, that's basically my whole idea of things. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it, because I like taking risks. and. Um, Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of the whole idea. I hope you 